Hello and welcome back to another session of Switch Connect program. I am Ananya Talwar, Technical Marketing Engineer with HP Aruba Networking. And today we are going to talk about few other highlights which may help you to know your interconnects better. So without any delay, let's get started. So as I was mentioning in my last video that we have certain standards such as SR, LR or ER to highlight the reach of your transmission medium or let's say in other words, how much distance your data can be transmitted using a certain transceiver. These are actually mentioned in the form of these distance standards where each of these standards actually highlights certain distance values. For instance, let's start with SR which is a short distance reach transceivers which can transmit your data within the few hundreds of meters. Now, because the distance is limited to few hundreds of meters, they are commonly used for intra rack or inter rack communication, which can be floor to floor in a building as well. These kind of SR transceivers are compatible with both SMF and MMF type of optical cables and supports both LC and MPU type of connectors. The other variants of SR transceivers you can find out there are SR1, which commonly known as SR, or ESR, SR1.2, SR2, SR4, or probably SR8. Now, how these are different? So for the first part of these standards, SR, it's constant, which means short reach. The last part, which can be interchangeably mentioned as 1, 1 1.2, 2, 4, and etc. So what does this mean? Actually, the X here signify, signifies the number of channels being used to transfer the data. For instance, let's take the first one, which is SR and ESR. Now ESR is extended SR, which is for a little bit more distance than what SR supports. So for SR or ESR, a single channel is used for the tra data transmission over duplex LC cable. For SR2, because that two is mentioned, two channels are used over an MPO12 connector with optical cable. This is very important to understand that how these MPO connectors are mapped and which pins are actually used to transmit your data. So for MPO12 connectors, the 1, 2 and 11, 12 pins are used. 1 and 2 being the transmission pins and 11 and 12 being the receiver pins. So these are two channels which is which can be mentioned as 1 and 12 makes one channel and 2 and 11 makes another channel. Similarly, it's for SR4. SR4 actually supports the four channel with MPO12 connectors. Once again, similar to the MPO2, instead of two channels, you get four channels, which means you're using eight pins, four for the uh, transmission of data and four for the receiving of data. In the middle, four pins are being unused. Eight channels, now SR8 is for the eight channels over an MPO6, over an MPO16 connector. And the um, pins are mapped in the way which I have mentioned. So the eight channels are made such that one and 16 makes the first channel, two and 15 makes another channel, three and 14 makes the third channel and so on. So as you, uh, the another thing that you need to watch cautiously is the offset pin that has been, I have mentioned earlier as well in my session, that for MPO 16, the pin is offset as compared to the MPO 12s to identify the difference between both. Now let's discuss about the LR on which is actually the short form for long reach standards. LR transceivers are designed for long distance, which can be mentioned up to 10 kilometers of communication of data. So these transceiver, because there are this, they support long range up to few kilometers can be used in your metropolitan area networks and other long range communications which require few kilometers of connectivity. LR transceivers are compatible only with SMF optical fibers and it typically supports LC connectors. Other variants of LR transceivers are LR2 and LR4. Similar to the SR ones, 
this is also uh, this is also different in the same way. The LR part indicates the long reach, whereas the last integer part indicates the number of optical channels being used. So once again, LR1 is a single channel over duplex LC cable. LR2 is two channel over the same duplex LC cable. Now you need to understand this uh, clearly. For SR2, we were using MPO12 connector where we were making two channels. So two different lanes were used to do that. But here for LR2, there are two channels over duplex LC cable. So actually two different wavelengths are multiplexed over the single fiber thread and transmitted through it. We'll talk about this uh, multiplexing and the difference between both in coming sessions. LR4 is similar to that, has four channels over duplex LC cable. Next one is ER. So ER, stand, ER stands for extended reach standard, which is the ER transceiver are designed for uh, optical communication, which is farther than your LR and SR transceivers, can be considered as greater than 10 kilometers. Because they are, they are greater than 10 kilometers, it can be used for your very long range communications. And ER transceivers are compatible again with only SMF optical cables and supports only LC connectors. The other variants of ER transceivers are ER4 and ER4L. Similar to the previous uh, two, ER1 takes up the one channel over duplex LC cable. ER4 is four channel over a duplex LC cable and ER4L is also a four channel over duplex LC cable, but, but with a little bit of extra reach than ER4. So let's now understand the bidirectional transceivers, also known as bidirectional transceivers. So the bidirectional transceivers allows for both transmission and reception of optical signals over a single optical fiber. Now, it helps you out to make the best use of your existing fiber infrastructure, but also giving you a, a distance ranging up to 70 meters to 40 kilometers, which is pretty good. Now, the bidirectional transceivers utilize separate upstream and downstream wavelengths, also known as lanes. Typically, one wavelength is used for sending the data over that same fiber, while the other wavelength is used to receive the data on that same fiber thread. So the bi transceivers are compatible with both SMF and MMF optical cables. Supports and it supports both simplex and duplex LC connectors with optical cables. So let's take an example. Uh, for the bi transceivers, we have two kinds of transceivers, which is simplex LC bi as I was mentioning, and the other one is the duplex LC bi A simplex LC bi is actually uses that simplex LC connector over an optical fiber cable. For that purpose, both of them are pretty different when you see the build and the physical appearance. A simplex LC bi will have only a single port of this LC connector where you can connect your sim uh, simplex LC connector. How does it work for the simplex LC bi -di? A simplex LC bi -di transceiver is again has two different types, which is type U and type D. Both these transceivers should be always used in pairs if you are using one. For instance, if you are using a simplex bi -di on one side, type U, you have to use the D on the other side. So how does it work? So for the U type, let's imagine it's transferring its data for 1490 nanometers and receiving the data at 1310 nanometers. Now on the other side, when you insert your D type transceiver, it will receive its data at 1490 nanometer and transmit the data at 1310. That's why you need to use both these bi transceivers in pairs. For the duplex LC bi dies, this is not a problem. So you do not have to create the combination between D and U for duplex bi dies. It will be automatically taken up when you connect your duplex LC cables through these transceivers, and it will have the two LC ports for that. Other optical standards that we also have 
apart from the mentioned ones are SX, which is it is similar to the short gig SR, but for the one gig transceivers. And it ranges for the distance between 275 meters to 550 meters. It works with MMF optical fiber over duplex LC connector. Another one is LRM, which is a 10 gig transceiver module for mid range network connection. The distance support is range ranges between 220 meters over MMF cable and 300 meter over an SMF cable. As it is highlighting that it works both with SMF and MMF optical fiber and it works with duplex LC connector. Another one is LX, which is similar to SX, can be considered as a LR, but for one gig transceivers. It supports the distance from up to 550 meters over MMF fiber to up to 10 kilometers over SMF, SMF fiber. It works with a duplex LC connector. Furthermore, we have LH, which is also known as long haul. It is a long reach one gig transceiver module, which supports the distance of up to 70 kilometers. It works with SMF optical fiber with duplex LC connector. We also have far reach and the distance reach transceivers, which are 100 gig transceiver module for long reach network connections. That one in far reach represents the use of single lane on each fiber achieved by a PAM4 modulation. We are going to discuss about this modulation techniques in coming sessions. The distance that is supported by FR1 is up to two kilometers and for DR it's about 500 meters. It works with SMF optical fiber over duplex LC connector. Another one is we have CWDM or CWDM4. These transceivers are actually named after this wavelength multi uh, division multiplexing techniques. So these are 100 gig transceiver which um, which works for a distance of up to two kilometers to 40 meters and works over SMF optical fiber with duplex LC connectors. So with this, we'll stop this session right here and we'll meet again in the next session to discuss more about the interconnects. Until then, thanks a lot and have a great day ahead.